Hey guys, so just bringing you a quick CPU lapping video today. This is going to be on the Ryzen 5600X CPU lapping project that I decided to take upon today. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because this CPU runs relatively hotter than my 5800. For some reason, this thing will reach 86, 87 degrees um, while running a Prime 95 or um, even uh, Cinebench uh, R23 if I let her run you know to complete all the all the loops this thing will each easily reach 80 81 82 Celsius and I have a 360 rad on it so I am I have reapplied the thermal paste I remounted the uh, the cooler but uh, this thing's just it, it just runs hot so today I've decided to lap it and see what we can get out of it we're going to be starting with uh, 240 grit. This is wet sand paper for sanding uh, metal, extra fine. And here is the little bucker. Um, yeah, smiling for the camera. Um, so we're going to be lapping this thing and then uh, the finishing. To finish it off, we're going to uh, use 1000 grit. That's just to give it that fine. Um, you know textures just to give it a little bit of shine we want that surface to be flat so for that reason we're we're finishing off with 1000 grit but um one thing for you guys that you know uh, i've never done anything like this um i know it looks like you know oh my gosh i'll never do this this is this looks destru destructive too risky believe it or not the key thing here is don't squeeze the pins. That's it. Don't squeeze the pins. Don't bend those pins. You see how I'm grabbing the CPU there? Just hold your fingers at the uh, on the PCB, on the substrate. Um, you will feel you will feel the pins on your fingers, but just don't put pressure on them, and you'll be okay. And they're not easily bent. I mean, you have to like really try to bend those pins in order for that to happen. So. Um, yeah, and don't worry if any small particles of uh, metal get in between the pins or any water gets on the pins. You can submerge the CPU in water. It'll be fine. Um, and I'll show you what you need to do uh, if you do. And you will get some small dust particles, uh, microscopic particles in between the pins. That's no big issue. Um, I'll show you in the end what you need to do. But as you can see already, the... Um, the high areas on the CPU are starting to show off in here. I already got it flat to where I am satisfied that all the low and high areas have all equalized. This is my 1000 grit sandpaper. This is how we're going to finish it. We're just going to add a little bit of water on there um, and um, give us that finish that we want, a shiny finish. And yeah, that's, uh, that's all the copper coming off it and um, as you you will see here soon I have um, some yeah you see the yeah um, yeah there, there you see the copper particles you know in the pins there um, if I didn't know any better I thought oh my gosh you know I probably ruined my CPU no this is literally all you need to do is this here if you don't have a um, if you do not have a spray bottle with alcohol in it just pour some alcohol on it just like that um, and believe me your CPU will be just fine there's nothing uh, nothing's going to happen to it I know this for a long time there's been this uh, myth about touching the pins or getting the pins wet or even bending the pins and that's the end of the CPU no that's not that's not true um, if you do bend in the pins just strain them out with a pair of tweezers and yeah, that's it you, you'll be okay um, you just don't want to break them off because then yeah you're in a world of trouble also, you don't have to put a lot of pressure as you're sanding the CPU. You don't have to put too much pressure on it. Just let the weight of your of your arm, you know, kind of relieve a little bit of, of that pressure. And with that, just, you know, go in circles back and forth. Um, don't push on it. Just slight, just almost, like I said, just the weight of your, you know, half the weight of your arm. Um, if you can somehow in your brain tell yourself, you know, okay, this, this is good enough. The point is don't push down on it just let let your arm rest a little bit on it i don't know if that makes any sense um and that's it just go back and forth on it until you start seeing 
uh, the copper showing and all you see is copper and literally that's it um, so yeah so let, let's go ahead and take a look um, at the temperatures to see what they look like now um, as you can see running prime 95 for 30 minutes already the temperatures went down six degrees just by lapping the CPU just by having a flat surface so it actually uh, improved my temperatures and I'm using the same thermal paste um, I was using uh, uh, MX4 so yeah it, it, it does work it does improve your um, CPU's uh, thermal performance if uh, you have an uneven surface but anyway I'm gonna leave it here hope you guys enjoyed the video hit thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe I'll see you on the next one Bye-bye.